Now, if you have time, you do the long mandala offering, which is I'm going to show you. If you don't have time, you do the short one. If you're lazy and you have time, do the long one. <laughs> if you're not lazy and you don't have time, do the short one. <laughs> but the best one is do the long one. Okay? <laughs> Everyone should have a clean cloth, any color you like. Try to avoid black. Try to, uh, any color you like, any material you like, but be practical. It's washable. Then when you do the mandala offering, it should be on your lap. Okay? Take this part, it should be around your shoulder. And then you open it up like this. This should be around your shoulder. You open it up like this. Then, with your left hand, you grab the plate. But your left hand should not be empty. You can use rice, beans, this is fake pearls, imitation pearls, imitation pearls, whatever you like. But beware, if you use things that are heavy, it'll be very heavy. Okay? The plate can be anything, steel, silver, copper, whatever you like. Of course, silver, the best if you can. Right? You can even have jewels around it. Make your mandala set as beautiful as possible. It's very important to have a mandala set for your uh, Dharma practice, okay? So you have a little bit in your hand here. You hold it like this. The first step is purifying one's karma. You can recite refuge or Vajrasattva's mantra or long refuge. Like this, you grab a little. Okay, you grab a little in your right hand and you need to purify your karma. You can do this minimum three times or as much as you like. So all the negative karma you've done, all the negative thinking, negative action speech, purify now. Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Namo Sangai Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Namo Sangai Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Namo Sangai Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Namo Sangai Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Namo Sangai Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Namo Sangai Ya. Geshe Tsurum Gyanson said that we should rub it with the inside here because there's a special, it's okay, there's a special nerve here. When we stimulate it, it helps us to develop compassion. It's a chi flowing, all right? The base is our mind. This is the Dharma and the pearls are negative karma. So when we put it on, we clear the negative karma from our mind. Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Namo Sangha Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Sangha Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Namo Sangha Ya. Then we do counterclockwise to collect merit three times. The collection of wisdom and emptiness. Geshe La says how many times you wipe it is up to you. Okay? Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Namo Sangha Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Sangha Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Sangha Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Sangha Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Sangha Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Sangha Namo Guru Ve Namo Buddhaya Namo Dhamma Sangha Namo Sangha Ya Oma Benza Bhumi Ahu When you say the first line, everybody has that? Um Benza Bhumi Ahu, you put a little on top. So Um Benza Bhumi Ahu, put a little on top. If it stays or not, does it matter? Because it's symbolism. In this case, it'll never stay because it's, it's slippery, fake pearls. Okay? Oma benza bumi ahum. The next one you recite is Great Powerful Golden Ground. Om benza reki ahum. When you say Om benza reki ahum, Geshe said, put the first ring on. Okay, you don't put the ring arbitrarily here and there. You have to put it according to the recitation. Learn this one correctly. Geshe was very particular. Why? Saramji was coming, Saramji would be watching. Yeah. Yesha says, Saramji, you're watching. If the mandala not nice, maybe Saramji get up and go to his room. Yes. All right? So, Om Benza Bhumi Ahum. Great, powerful, golden ground. Om Benza Reki Ahum. When you say Reki Ahum, what do you put? Very good. Then in the center, the king of Mount Meru. Oma, in the center, king of Mount Meru. So you take some of your pearls, put it in the center. The next one is what? East. East is here. Huh? Look here. East is here. East is to you. Because when we take initiation, we face the mandala from the eastern direction. Okay? East Lu Pa Bo. Uh, next one is going to be south. It's here. East is here. Look here. East, south. What's this? Oh. Nope. 
West. This one? Very good. First one is Mount Meru. Then you go to the east, south. As you're reciting it, you got to put it. No, I mean, of course, in the beginning, you train, you do, you look, you put, you look, you put. After you have to memorize it and put it. It's a meditation. It represents the whole universe you're offering to the Buddhas. So east is where? West. Closest to me. Very good. Then next one is south is where? Very good. Then west is where? Good. And then the last one is what? Then the next one is intermediate directions, okay? Yundan, Lancho, Jodraminin, and Jodraminin, Gyan, Da. So when you recite that, it's intermediate directions. Get it? By this time, when you say precious mountain, then you put one. You say wish granting tree, you put another one. Wish granting cow, you put another one. Harvest wreath through until another one. Then when you get to precious wheel, you do the next one. Then you say, what happens if I get to Precious Wheel, it's not filled up? Fill it up, la. Just fill it up. <laughs> say, excuse me, Tsongkhapa, fill it up. That's it. So if you have too much, if you have too much by the time you get it, what do you do? Just put one, excuse me, Tsongkhapa, here. <laughs> okay? You don't have to be so complicated. So the next one you do what? Is Precious Wheel. You put this one. Then you say Precious, Precious Wheel. Precious jewel, precious queen, precious minister, precious elephant, precious horse, precious general, great treasure vase. All right? When you say the goddess of grace, this should be filled up already, then you put this one. Goddess of grace, you put this. She's the goddess that teaches you grace. How to be, elo, elo, you know, like move around unlike Gimli. You know what I mean? Goddess of grace. You can tell I said so. <laughs> goddess of grace, what do you put? Correct. That's why I say don't get a big one and put heavy stuff. By this time, your hand already is like numb. For some of us, if we can't hold it up, we have hand problems, arthritis, we're older, you can put it on the table and do it. And then just do it like that slowly. Okay? You can put it on the table. So you put goddess of grace, goddess of garlands, song goddess, dance goddess, flower goddess, incense goddess, light goddess, perfume goddess. Then you say sun, moon, precious parasol. When you say banner of victory, you take the last one. Put this on top. This is called the banner of victory. After you put this one on top, you take your right hand, fill it up with whatever, and hold it. Both hands should never be empty. And then what do you say? In the center, gods and humans, perfect wealth lacking nothing pure and pleasing. All these to the glorious, sublime, kind guru and lineage gurus, and especially sovereign of all teachings, glorious, excellent, uh, whatever. When you disassemble it, you have to put it towards you. Pay attention very clearly. You don't simply disassemble it front or back. You do this way. Make sure it falls towards you. Okay? So, when you recite the mantra, Idama Guru Ratna Manda Lakam, Niraya Tayami, you think that Lama Tsongkhapa accepted your offering, and then you collapse it towards you. After you collapse it, if you're doing a mandala retreat, you do it again and again and again until you finish 100,000. You do a few every day. If you're not doing a mandala retreat, you may put this away. When you store your mandala away, you put all the items inside, like this, and then you wrap it like this, okay, and then take it off and do that. And all of you must practice this. Practice, don't practice it in front of Tsongkhapa, practice it when you're not doing your sadhana, you know, on the side, practice. Hey, don't in front of Tsongkhapa, excuse me, I'm practicing. He's got other things to do, like save the world. Okay? But this is a very powerful practice. Lama Tsongkhapa did over one million mandala offerings. But because Lama Tsongkhapa was very poor, he used stone base and stones. And he did it until the skin tore off from here. But he attained, after he finished mandala offerings, he attained direct vision of Manjushri. So this is a very powerful practice. The Bhikshuni, there's one nun in Tibet. 
she, this was one of her main practices. After finishing her practice of mandala, she got direct vision of 1,000 armed Kuan Yin Posa. And she can communicate with Kuan Yin Posa anytime she wants. It's a very powerful practice to do every single day. We should do this 100,000 times. Okay? You might think, oh my God, that takes so long. Look, it'll be longer in samsara if you don't. Does everybody understand how we did that? Was it film? All right. Everybody understand? Okay, good. Be better if you do in Tibetan, actually, when you, because it flows easier. Now, if you don't, like I already told you, if you're going to do the short one, that's okay too. If you do the short one, this is a reason for lay people to have very nice malas with ornaments, stones, whatever you can afford. Then when you do your mandala offerings, you do like this. You do the short one. This is Mount Meru and, and the, the four, four subdivisions and all the precious ministers, queen, all the fields, the earth, the planets, the sun and the moon, the victory banner, jewels, precious elephant, everything is here. Can you visualize that? Then when you do Idama Guru, you release it towards you, remember? Idama Guru Dana Mandala Ganiraya Tayami. 